Hi there, this is Lee. And in a previous video, I spoke of a Puerto Rican uh, freedom fighter who um, fought for Puerto Rican independence and civil rights in the 70s. His name is Oscar Lopez Rivera. He was in prison for several decades. He recently had his sentence commuted um, by Barack Obama, and he, he will be released very soon. Uh, there is still time um, to actually issue pardons for members of the Black Panther Party, uh, one of which is Mumia Abu-Jamal, who has also been in prison for many decades, um, who is um, actually uh, experiencing many medical disabilities in prison, issues with access to uh, medical care. Um, there is also uh, Asada Shakur, who is not in prison, but who is in exile in Cuba. And the issue with the members of the Black Panther Party um, are the fact that their entry into the custody of the uh, military industrial, military prison industrial complex is kind of shady. Um, the fact that they were targeted by J. Edgar Hoover's FBI under COINTELPRO means that we really cannot say for certain that they actually received justice um, for their uh, work in the civil rights movement, the Black Liberation Movement, the Black Panther Party. And so uh, uh, Angela Davis um, has commented on cases such as Asada Shakur. Uh, she, uh, uh, Davis spoke of the extent um, to which the repression associated with that era of the late 1960s and 70s continues to this day, and um, that members of the party are still behind bars from that era. Uh, some have died behind bars. But it's um, a fact that they these people were targeted for their efforts to um, protect um, the black community from repressive uh, police uh, violence. In fact, they were the Black Lives Matter um, of that time. Um, anyway, so there's been Democratic presidents since, um, there's been Republican presidents since, and neither have um, sought to explore these cases um, for consideration for pardon. Uh, people are hoping that they will be explored for pardoning by Barack Obama before he leaves office. Um, there's problems with forensic evidence um, used within the courts to justify um, their entry into the criminal justice system, um, abuses within the justice system itself, um, the practices of J. Edgar Hoover, who sought out to silence minorities, uh, things like this. And so there are questions. Um, let's see. Siko Odinga, he's a former Panther. Um, he lists the Black Panthers that are still in prison today. Romaine Chip Fitzgerald, Ed Poindexter, Joseph Bowen, Jalil Montanquin, Herman Bell, Russell Schultz, Sanjasa Akoli, Veronza Bowers, Robert Seth Hayes, Zulu Whitmore, Maliki Shakur, Mutulu Shakur, Imam Jamil Al Imam, Kamal Siddiqui, Mumi Abu Jamal, and then those in exile include Asada Shakur and Pete O'Neill. And so uh, we've been hearing a lot about Edward Snowden and Chelsea Manning, um, people like this, um, and even Hillary Clinton is getting a lot of press with people uh, promoting Hillary Clinton for a pardon. But there are people who have actually served time and pay whatever debt they have might have owed or people felt that they should pay, they paid it. And um, they spent decades behind bars. Um, and so uh, while other people are being promoted, they should not be forgotten, I don't believe. Um, not listed here is Leonard Peltier, a Native American who also has been um, in prison for several decades, also experiencing medical disabilities.
Um, also not um, listed here is Jeffrey Sterling, who was a whistleblower imprisoned under Barack Obama's administration, um, who whose actual guilt is questionable, but whose um, medical disabilities and in, inability to get access to adequate health care behind bars is also um, something that should be considered. And so along the lines of Chelsea Manning, um, I think people should not forget about Jeffrey Sterling, um, plus the members of the Black Panther Party, those imprisoned and those in exile. Good luck.